Ow. All right, guys. Can you see the shoulder down there? And cut a shoulder. Okay, this is your fix, guys. I'm I'm pretty sure this is going to work fine. Now I've got one clip in here already. I'm going to find some Wisco clips, but this is what I come up with. go and the point I was getting across there was one picture I saw where this leg was holding the 10 millimeter wrist pin in well now we've got a shoulder in this wrist pin the reason I put these spacers right here is I don't want uh, hardened metal against hardened metal the bearing race is hard metal so i just made some bushings you could run it up to it but this is your fix you guys i wanted to make mine bulletproof and i'll be finding some weissco wrist spin clips for that or cutting the leg off if i can't find any but uh that's your fix guys right there that's perfect i think it's not tested by no means but when i put this engine together i want hundreds of miles out of it before I have to touch it. That is good and firm right there. So, and that's gonna hold that bearing perfectly centered right there. So hit like and subscribe, you Phantas, I mean Phantom 85 guys. Here's your fix right here, babe. That'll work. You can do it with a Dremel. You can cut the inside of this. I actually took a boring bar in mine and only got so much because the pressure on one side was making it cut, but it, it, was, it was hard, very hard. And I got it almost to like 9,000 and I, I had to still go like 98.98 .98 millimeters. I tried everything. And I said, let me try one of those Dremel rotary files or burr bits or whatever you want to call them. And lo and behold, it cut it. I was spinning it while I cut it. Here's a video. All right, guys, it's basically I'm gonna let, let it just eat itself in there. Uh, I'm not really pushing real hard. Always wear safety glasses and stuff like that when you're doing project like this and you can see the spark that's coming straight at you. The, uh, it went in there pretty easy. Now this is a 10 millimeter wrist pin. I'm pretty sure that the 12 millimeter will go in a half inch drill. Uh, and it's just going right on in there, no problem. And then you can just start working it back and forth like that. You're going to have these sparks just a little warm, not much. You want to, it kind of went aggressive on that one because that's the smallest carbide bit I got and I'm gonna leave a description uh, in the comments I'm, I'm gonna leave a description down below where I picked up this set I've got but uh, it does work you can shoulder a half a wrist pin a 12 millimeter wrist pin and and get your stuff fixed up so you don't have to worry about that wrist pin anymore 
So just this is just to let you guys know, and we're all in the same boat together because I got a big wrist pin just like y'all do. Of me cutting this one right here, and let me get some light over here. So y'all can see. All right. I cut down. Which side did I cut down? Yeah, right here. I wanted to cut it until there was a shoulder. Just like I did these. So you'll, you'll take your original wrist pin and you'll cut it in half, however dimensional you want it. If you want the wrist pin to come all the way to the edge of the bearing to hold it there, I just did, I wanted a consumable, I wanted some brass in there. I, that's just me. The, uh, another trick, when you're measuring your pins for half, and I've always got one here. Nobody ever notices it. That's the reason I use this. There's a strong neobidinia magnet up under there. So thirty-seven. Let's just say fifteen. This ain't going anywhere. So. It's always good to have a magnet up under there, then demagnetize them with a demagnetizer. Pretty simple. But there you go, guys. You can do it. There's a video of me cutting. <clears throat> well, that wrist pin I just dropped. But that's it. That's a fix for you, uh, Phantom 85 guys. You'll have a bulletproof wrist pin system. All you have to do is work it, and uh, you're good to go. All you have to do, guys, is take your time with it. You can get this done on that particular size uh, wrist pin. I use this one right here so I could get that shoulder in there really good. And uh, it might take you a couple wrist pins to get a couple good ones, but... Uh, that's better what you got going on right now. So this is what I did with mine. This is what I'm going to put on this one and hopefully get a long run time out of it because this is going to be a test bench to see what exactly how much we can get out of it. Hit like and subscribe. Uh, there's a lot of channels out there. And I'm going to list them right here that you need to check out. They're good channels. And you'll learn a lot from them, from their mistakes, just like mine. This is not proven by any means, but it seems to me like this is gonna be a better option than what y'all got going on right now. This one needs to push, push back a little bit more, but this is what I'm going with. And that is sturdy. That is in there, and that is in there good. And ain't no movement whatsoever. It's good. So that's it in a nutshell, guys. So this is one I used. You could spin it in a drill at 12 point something millimeter. I'm pretty sure you can get it in a half inch drill motor. Spin it, work it slowly, and you can get it cut down for a 10 millimeter wrist pin. And then cut them off or just cut it off in half and then do it and get the distance you want. I put the two consumable uh, oil light brass uh, washers in there because I don't like the idea of a hard metal against a hard metal. Uh, but we got to do something. I mean, the graphite bushings are for dry application and not for wet applications. This is for wet applications. This will work pretty sure haven't done it we're gonna find out but if you do it post a video 
and let me know how it works, I think it'll work just fine. This is the part of the ring I'm talking about, or part of the piston, I'm sorry. Part of the piston, this top piece right here. I'm gonna turn it down about 10 to 15 thousandths. The reason being is this is the one that expands the most because it gets all the heat, all the charge and stuff, cold air, fuel, and everything goes up through here. This stays cool up under here. But this top one is where the fire is at. It expands and scrubs your chrome off. And I got a special coating on this one. The, uh, I'm going to be taking 10 to 15 off of that. Allow for that expansion. And uh, when we build this thing, it's going to be built bulletproof. This, to me, is bulletproof. We'll see. But uh, it looks like it'll be good. So, and like I said, as we're scrolling through, we're going to have all these uh good channels to go see so hit like and subscribe uh please please leave a comment because i want your input on it if you know better than i do uh you need to tell me okay so this is what i'm gonna do so that's it in a nutshell y'all have a good day